don't feed the trolls because my favorite thing to do on X is just mute. I don't block. I mute because when you block, mm -hmm. they know you've blocked them. And that to them, that's a scalp. And they, hey, look, I blocked them. Blah, blah, blah. But if you yeah, mute, yeah. they're they're just screaming into the wind, and you just you just move on with your life. Also, encourage that if when you when you do the Abraham Lincoln uh, thing for a lot of things, where he would like when he was pissed off at one of his generals or somebody, he'd write a letter and then put the letter in his desk, and then wake wake up the next morning. If he still felt yeah. the same way, he'd send yeah. the letter. If not, he would scrap, it, and usually he would scrap it. Same thing with your with some of the tweets. There, we all know there's tweets we've never posted that we're glad we didn't or posts now. But if you ever respond, feel like you're getting fired up, patrol. First of all, think about this. Really, check. Don't let somebody else damage have that control over you where they can ruin your day. You know, it's the old Buddhist uh, saying: if somebody insults you, like what do you do? And the Buddhist says, well, if somebody gives me offers me a gift and I refuse, who's holding the gift? It's the same thing with an insult. Just don't, don't, just don't even acknowledge it. Don't even give it a thought because trolls, trolls are not out there to prove any points. They're just there to insult. And the folks that are emotionally invested in their opinions, those are people. They're, they're also not. You know, they're not going to go suddenly. You know, positively curse me to good point. I think I'm going to. I read something on Twitter X that changed my mind about uh, this whole Gaza thing. Yeah. This, I, I, I used to hate Trump, but now, you know, I used to hate Biden, but, you know, they brought a good point. Nobody says that. You know, nobody says, nobody makes that decision. Nobody, nobody who is strong-willed enough to be able to change their mind and look at nuance is, you, is referring to X or any social media platform for their, for their decision-making. I don't think that's right. And on top of that, before we move on, I want uh, there's a common trope, and it started with um, uh, medieval literature, medieval plays, morality plays. They often would, would create a raging heathen character. And what this character was designed to do is, let's say you wanted to be pro-Crocs. Let's say you wanted to celebrate, actually, yeah, let's say you wanted to celebrate pineapple on pizza. Pi you know, this this your play talks about you know, we're going to have open a restaurant that serves pineapple on pizza. To get the audience on your side, you create a character that specifically that hates pineapple on pizza, but you make them such a despicable, outlandish, very just like irredeemable character, the raging heathen that rages about like, oh, I hate pineapple on pizza and I pick my nose and fart, you know, that that you make that character and then nobody wants to be like, well, I don't like pineapple and pizza, but I don't want to be associated with this clown. So that's, that's, that's a t common tactic that, that a lot of new news programs do a lot. Like, like Piers Morgan has some dude that he hires to come on just to be an idiot, just to, just to take the other side of an issue. And he always, this guy always gets dunked on. I remember I used to, I mean, I don't watch Piers Morgan, but I, you see clips like will pop up in your feed. And I kept remembering like, there's that clowning. Why does this guy keep coming back on this dude's show? Every time he looks like an idiot crossfire used to do this. And like Han the Hannity guy used to do this, all these news programs. They'd have one guy that had the opposite opinion and they would just get dunked on the view does this. You know, they yeah. have that. Yeah. They always have one, like they're very left leaning and they always have that one right leaning person, like yeah. the girl from survivor. And they just try to dunk on him. Yeah, yeah. And all that is is just designed to make them look better. It's it's the old thing like in the writer's block. Shout out to writer's block, Stephanie and Heidi, and Mod, Mod to Severe. If a hero only looks as good as in contrast to the villain that they're taking on. And it's the same right. thing. It's like if you create this villain, then that makes you look better. And a lot of times people project that raging heathen onto people because they want to group you in with those people. Well, I think you're right. Yeah. Before we wrap, I, I do are on that part of, the, of the, the, that segment. I think it's important to remember again that the, the Abraham Lincoln quote about you know and you talked about this too. Yeah. Um, two things. Two things. Right. The first that that quote is uh, better to be thought a fool. Right. Uh, that better better to be silent and be thought a fool than to open one's mouth and remove all doubt. Yes. It's a famous Abraham Lincoln quote, and it's worth just kind of remembering. Like sometimes it's better just to scroll past and move on. Um, right. And, and I, I'm with you on the fact that 
if you looked at my drafts um, <laughs> folder, <laughs> on X, you you would probably like it, it's enough to make a, a, a sailor blush. Like the stuff that I've typed in there yeah. that I have not sent. It's um, yeah. I mean, I I would not show that to anyone. I mean, I don't, even if you paid me like a million dollars, I I don't think I can show people my drafts because it's so. The things I've wanted to say but have chosen not yeah. to, um, you just <laughs> it kind of kind of makes me uh, uncomfortable even talking about it because well, of how awful it is. But like the thing is that that's a sign I think of of that that kind of there's a divide between when you hear something, hear something, and then mm -hmm. you form your opinion, and then you let out your your thought on it. Right? There's yeah. like there's this gap between the the input and then your kind of output of your next phrase or statement or sentence and typing up some of this stuff and then being like you know what i'm not going to send this out i feel better just having put it um in print right or it's there yeah feels like i typed it out it's almost like writing it in a journal right like in the same mm -hmm. kind of context you write in a journal you this know, mom, and, mf this mother yeah. father yeah. and then yeah that, exactly mother father exactly that's how i do it every time uh, and, and because then, then it doesn't get flagged by autocorrect. Yeah. Uh, because then it becomes mother forker, which is also yeah. kind of weird. But the, the point being that the, you know, you want to make sure that you get that, you, there has to be that outlet to kind of let out that energy, but, yeah. but it can just be in your drafts folder and, and nobody's the wiser. So just suggesting that as a potential alternative to actually letting out some of that, um, you know, aggression on the public timeline, I would say. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I think you're absolutely correct. And it, it, it's, it is therapeutic to just get it out there. It's like your own venting kind of thing. Um, and then, yeah. And, and also sometimes I look back at things I almost responded to. And then there's times I actually hit send and I'm like, man, why did I even step in that stuff? It, it never, you know, whenever I post yeah. something out of emotion, it never goes well. You know, it, it never, I always feel embarrassed. Like, why did I say that? And yeah. then the flip side. So this might be a cool topic to, to bring up next time too, is just kind of like, um, for like, like forgiveness too, because sometimes yeah. you like being able to change your mind, you know, what, I think we, we do a lot to, we do way too much othering to I think each other right. I think and right. we need to, we need to be a little bit more, we need to really just focus on a lot more of what we have in common than our differences. So. Yeah.